So if you go back 10 or 20 years, you'll just add it all up. It's massive amounts of money is owed. Uh, the United States has paid. This has gone on for decades, by the way. This has gone on for many presidents, but no other president brought it up like I bring it up. He was shooting from the hip right from the start. A breakfast with NATO Secretary General and a tirade in particular against Germany over defense spending and its gas deal with Russia. We're supposed to protect you against Russia, but they're paying billions of dollars to Russia. It should have never been allowed to have happened. But Germany is totally controlled by Russia. After years of underspending, European allies are doing more on defense, but only five are hitting the target of 2% of GDP so far. Some fear Trump wants to reduce America's commitment, and on Wednesday he went further, urging leaders to double their spending targets to 4%, something that didn't get much of a response from NATO's Secretary General. Well, I will focus on the, what we have agreed, and we have agreed to uh, be committed to the uh, uh, pledge uh, increasing defense spending to 2%. And uh, let's start with that. Later, Trump met separately with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. No cameras allowed inside that one. But afterwards, there was this effort to persuade us things aren't so bad after all. We have a very, very good relationship with the Chancellor. We have a tremendous relationship with Germany. It's very important that we have these exchanges together because we're partners. We're good partners and we wish to continue to cooperate in the future. The family photo presented a strained image of unity at a time when this alliance is facing a complex array of challenges in Europe and beyond. Despite all the controversy about money, business is still being done. This is the 23-page final summit declaration. It covers all sorts of things, from new command centers to a new cyber warfare center in Belgium, anti-terrorism training in Iraq and Afghanistan, new rapid reaction forces to be based in Europe. But money has overshadowed this summit, with Donald Trump apparently even telling fellow leaders they should adopt even higher spending targets in the future. Simon McGregor with TRT World at NATO headquarters.